This game is rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 4. I'm Whitney. I'm Tanil. And uh, last time there was fog everywhere. And there's going to be fog forever and people are starting to freak out about it. Hmm. Good for them. I'm going to read a book. Ignore my problems, only read book. Uh, let's read another of the Man's Life series. Sure. Uh, just it's something to do. Read Man God. Oh, We're gonna God. glance through it. Said so glance through Man God. Every chapter begins. All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. Didn't another book? They all, all they, of the ones in this series have that say that. But uh -huh. the author spends five hundred days in the mountains. Seeking to prove a rumor about the true masters of manliness. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Okay. Well, man lives in the woods, says it's manly. Okay. I mean, isn't the point of that kind of thing to make you feel bad about yourself so that you change something about yourself? Um, wouldn't it not make you feel manly to read about another man being quote unquote more manly than you? Mm. Because you haven't gone out and lived in the woods? Don't know, but listen to that song. It's very minor and subtle. Mm -hmm. And this is the only music we're going to have in the overworld now. Okay. The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic, and nobody <laughs> even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay home for a while. <clears throat> You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? I don't know. I think toxic fog would be a good reason to stay home from school. Mm-hmm. Seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got hip pain. I'd love to go to an inn with a spa. Luckily, we've got an inn right here in town. Not only that, but the manager there is young and beautiful, yeah? Unfortunately, my family's more interested in a ski trip than going to an inn. What's the point of going somewhere so cold? Are they that desperate to see the snow? I said to them, if you want to go see the snow, why not go to the glacier in South America? Hmm? I see doubt written all over your faces. Never heard of it? Hmm. Well, why don't I turn this into a question, Tsubomi kun What, do they not know there are glaciers in South America? What's the name of the glacier in South America? The Pantagonian Ice Field, the Columbian Ice Field, it doesn't exist. Yeah, there are glaciers, like, on the southern tip of South America, aren't there? I'm gonna feel really silly if it doesn't exist, but... It's a, the Patagonian ice field. Okay. Apparently it does exist. Okay. Wow, you're a smart fella. And yes, it's a rather special glacier between Chile and Argentina. Of course, I was just joking about going there. The weather is so harsh, very few people ever go. Yeah, I... Okay, I think what I remember about learning this one is that it's one of the places other than going to, like, Australia or New Zealand that you would go to to get to Antarctica because it's just so far south. Sure. I, I mean, I believe it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think my wife gets it. She's been picking up brochures about South America. She's really too gullible. How could she not be at least a tiny bit guarded about going to a glacier? Yeah, I would not want to go to a glacier. No, that'd be very, very cold, and I don't want that. Ah, I just get freaked out around, like, ice. <laughs> I've seen way too many movies where, like, the ice cracks and people fall into these, like, ice caverns, and I'm like, mm 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 mm, -mm. That freaks me out. It's like caves. Caves freak me out, too. Fair enough. Anyways, we have new quests that we can pick up today. My mother's always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up this kid in elementary school and saying I need to be like him. Isn't that crazy? What kind of super kid is he anyway? 
I'd ask you... I'd like to ask you for a special favor. Could you listen for a second? I'm all ears. That girl on the roof, do you think she thinks of me? Well, there's nothing I can do but change myself. I already have a plan. Oh my god. You know, that girl said she wanted to be a vet. I think that she'll need an animal guide. So if I give her one of the present, do you think it'll score me some major points with her? But my problem is I don't have the slightest clue where I could get something like that. Do you have any ideas? The library. I'll check the TV. Huh? You mean like an infomercial or something? You don't... What? Well, zip it, it, bring it to me. Oh, a reward? R right, a reward. Um, I'll give you something really special. Come on, help me out here. All right. It's a picture book that an old scholar or a magician would use. <laughs> From magician. Like, on top of a cloud or something. Got it. Go to heaven, kill magicians. I get it. Nonsense. All that man right. was speaking nonsense. Yep. All right. Uh, Who else? You. Do people even think that they'll be happier if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've just been listening to my radio, and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us, without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. Why is the rest of the world so different? To be honest, I have a favor to ask of you. All right. I want to build another crystal radio just like the one I had when I was a kid, but I can't find what I need. I used a mineral called old ore, but it seems to be quite rare now. All I can find is new ore. All right, I'll get it for you. Really can't order it, sorry, counting on you. Eesh. I'll just check the TV. Uh, you. Again? Wow, it's almost December. Uh, I know it's a long way away still, but I kind of dread it this time of year. We always have these big family gatherings at, on Christmas, which means we have to make a lot of food. And then it's New Year's, and so there's even more preparing to do. Why me? All I want to do is go outside. Um, Tsubomi Seppe, I'd like to ask another favor of you, but... Do you think you could find me a piece of classy lumber? See, I'm thinking about building a shelf, something nice that you could display models on. I want to surprise my dad with, but I can't seem to get a hold of any quality wood. I know it's a lot to ask, but a lot to ask, but you're the only one I know that can do this. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're amazing, Senpai. I apologize for putting you through all through this all the time. Please, need that classy lumber. Classy lumber. All right. Now we're going to go into town, because there's still one more quest. Uh, I think it's at the floodplain. Okay. I thought I finally began to understand everything at my age, but I guess not. No siree, even when you're this old, you're still finding out new things about yourself. I figured I'd gotten wiser since I was your age, but I also held on to stuff I should have let go a long time ago. There's a lot to be ashamed of in a long life, but sure keeps things interesting. Ha ha ha, you better just enjoy getting older, okay? Hey, I might like to ask you something if you hear him out. <laughs> Say, you have a minute, I've got another request to ask of you. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I like another lamp. Something simple but beautiful, not too gothic. That kind of lamp. I looked into some swords, but I ain't seen nothing like that. But you're something else. I could find something for that me. What do you say? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry for keep bothering you with these things. You gotta find in this man another lamp. By God. I'm curious. Uh-huh. Wow. Wait, that, are those it. Those are the, the last. Those are the last quests. How? How have we done it? We need to feed the cat more food. Oh. But otherwise, those are our final four quests. Well, can you go feed the cat food? I don't think we have any cat food. I don't think we have any fish. Oh. We specifically need to go fishing. Oh. To get more fish for this cat. Hmm. There's two cats here. Meow meow! Oh, we do have. How many fish do we have? 
No, no. Oh, we're out of fish. Damn. Dang. I don't know how many more fish we need. Beep. All right, well, now that that's done, we're actually going back into the TV today. We are. It's... Yeah. There's not a lot we can do this week because all of the- Were we just out of the TV last episode? Uh, not at last, last episode. It was- A uh, couple episodes ago. Mm -hmm. It okay. was a week ago. Okay. Literally one week ago, we were in the dungeon. Yeah. But uh, because it is foggy, or uh, not foggy, because it is the study week before finals, no one will hang out with us from school. Right. And we have like two social links that aren't from school left. And one of them is at night. Well, no. One of them only shows up on holidays or Sundays, and that's death. Ah. And then the other one is What's-Her-Face, and she's not available today. What's-Her-Face? The, the, the mom? The mom. She's okay. not available today. So we're going to go into the TV. All right. So TV time it is. How do I get there? Oh. You need to go to Juness. I went to the wrong place. Yeah. Oops. you think I'd remember how to do this <laughs> by this point in the game. Yes. Hello, everyone. No study for final, only TV. Going back. We're going back to... We're going back to heaven. Oh, you know, while we're in here, we could probably go ahead and finish off uh, Margaret as well. Ah. Because we should be able to get high enough level. Yeah. Going exploring. Yep. Why is he so depressed? Because it's super foggy and, you know, Nauto's Nanako the... is still in the hospital. Nauto. Nanako! Ugh. Technically, another thing we could have done today is go and visit Nanako. It does nothing but waste our time slot. No. But we can go visit her every single day now. Oh. 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 So if we have literally nothing else to do, we could always go visit her. Yeah. But, all right, I'm gonna go do some grinding, collect all that stuff, and once you know it, there's a new secret boss in heaven. So we're gonna do that as well. Sweet. So, off we go. All right, we're back. We're level 70. Nice. I also want to say, uh, we're not fusing the persona for Margaret, Margaret because I tried you doing it, tried. but it, it it's going to require even more time and grinding because it requires a persona to be leveled up to a certain egregious level, honestly, to get the certain ability that we need to then fuse into the persona we want. Right. And, uh... Long story short, you're going to take care of it during the grinding streams. Yes, because there is going to be one or more grinding streams... Honestly, within the next couple weeks, because mm -hmm. we're getting pretty close. <laughs> once we're in the final dungeon, uh, spoilers, I guess. Mm -hmm. The we will be doing some grinding streams to get us up to maximum level to fuse every persona, and I'll be fusing all of the personas. Yeah, and that'll happen on stream. So during that, we'll go ahead and finish up Margaret, and we'll also go over all of the personas that we've already made and just not talked about. Uh-huh. Because there have been a lot already. But for now, we're going to go fight the super secret special boss. Super boss. <coughs> Shanghu's boss, Sensei. Was it Sensei or Senpai? Whatever. That's not good. <laughs> Darkness won't work. All right, so this is the Lost Okina. It has 4,000 health. It is null to physical. Wow. It also drains Bufu. Hmm. And, of course, null to light and dark. So we have to use Agi, Zio, or Garu skills. Okay. Which is good because we have Yukiko on the team. Yep. Uh, Naoto is going to have to use Megadolas, which means... Naoto's going to run out of MP. Yeah. Naoto and Kanji are gonna run out of MP pretty quick. That's amazing. Great. Ouch.
I don't remember what this status ailment does, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. I'm just gonna kinda deal with it, see what happens. I missed. Great. I think it just makes us weaker. Like, all of our stats weaker. Mm -hmm. And I can work through that. Oh, uh, yes, that's some delicious damage. Yeah. So while you're fighting the secret boss, mm -hmm. mind if I talk about the stuff we were talking about earlier today in regards to what we think would make this game a little better? Other than, you know, obvious story stuff. Just talking about gameplay-wise. Yeah, sure, go for it. So... One of the problems I have with the Persona series as a whole is the fact that your main character is so overpowered that having other party members is just kind of like, eh, they're there, I guess. But like, you don't really need them because your main character can have all the different personas and your main character can therefore have all the different abilities. So what I think would be really cool for the Persona series to do to make your other party members more useful is to give them all a special move that only they can do. And one of the examples I thought of for this is like for Kanji, maybe he has a special move that he and his Persona can do that does both physical and lightning damage. And then you would rank this ability up by doing the corresponding character social links. So you start Kanji's social link and at rank one, he gets the first form of this physical and thunder ability. And then at rank five, it would go up a level. And then rank 10, it would max out. And it's just something that would give each player character in this game something unique to them and make them more useful versus your main character can do all the moves that they can do and probably do them better. It just stole a hundred of our of Yukiko's SP. Thankfully, Yukiko has a bajillion SP already, so she it's fine. She almost has more SP than everybody else. Uh-huh. So I'm honestly not that worried about it. If it had been Kanji, that would have sucked. Yeah. Because there's not much we can do about that. Mm -hmm. But for other examples of how I think this would work is like, take Teddy, for example. Maybe he has a move that heals the team, but also has a chance to buff one of your stats, whether it be like your evasion, your defense, your attack, mm -hmm. something like that. And then that percentage oh, is would go up the further along you were with on his social link. Yeah. Well, there we go. The last secret boss of the game has been defeated. Nice. And I will say Persona 5 does a slight better job at making it so that your main character isn't just like the only one that you really want to play as. Mm -hmm. They make the other team members a bit more useful. Um, specifically through an ability called Baton Pass, which lets you just pass the turn to another character. Super, super good. Uh, and I'm sure we will talk about it when we get into Persona 5. But there is still a problem of like, your other party members are just worse versions of the main character. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, we got a chakra ring. It halves the SP cost for using magic. Full stop. Doesn't matter what kind of magic. Half is expensive. So I'm giving that to Naoto. Because so Naoto can use Megadola? Yeah, Naoto can use Megadola and eventually Megadolone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for like half the cost because it's very expensive for the amount of damage it does. Mm -hmm. And this just makes it a lot less of a trouble. But we did it. Yeah. We're done. We're done in the TV. I got all the things for those last quests. We're done here, so let's get out of here. Mm-hmm.
just a few minutes for you guys, but that took up most of... Most of today. Yep. Most of the day that we're recording this, I've spent sitting here grinding out five levels. Uh, persona. Oh, Persona. God, and now we're all alone again. Mm-hmm. You're very tired. You were in the TV today, so. Yeah, I guess we can't go out. Yeah. Uh, no. I never want to see you again, Yosuke. The guide wants us to save and then go hang out with Yosuke because the guide thinks it's funny. Oh. Whatever we do with Yosuke. And I'm just like, no. No. Mm -mm. It's probably not that funny. Yeah. Knowing this game. Oh, we, we literally can't do anything today. All right, fine. <laughs> It was a surreal, awkward dream, but your relationship with Kanji has intensified. So that's an example of us having a dream of one of our friends. We were we dreamt that we were Kanji's parent. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's weird, but at least we're closer now. Uh-huh. Today is Labor Appreciation Day. We have the day off from school. Do you know what that means? Uh, we have the day free to hang out with people, except they don't want to hang out. Mm-hmm. So what are we doing? We actually have one social link we can hang out with because it's a holiday. Oh, we can go hang out with death. We can finish death. Wow. Now we get like the most boring song as like the final overworld theme. Yeah, I wish there was something with a bit more ambiance, mm -hmm. something a bit more haunting. It's just very quiet. I'm happy to see you. All right. Yes. I'd be happy to. I suppose that today is the last day I'll be seeing this river. I've decided to move. My children have offered me a place with them. At first, I turned them down because I didn't want to leave the place I was born in, but... What about your husband? I don't know. <laughs> if I stay here and mope around, I'm sure he'll feel bad up in heaven. Sono smiles gently. Will you accept this? We got the old fountain pen. I saved up my money to buy this a long time ago. Used it to write my husband before we were married. He'd be d I'd be delighted if someone, if you would have it. I'd feel that our story hasn't truly ended. I'll treasure it. Thank you. No. I believe that the past when we exchanged letters, it's connected to the present day. I'm sure I don't have very long left in this world. That's not the case for you. You're carrying on my story now. And I think I'll keep smiling to the end. I think I've had a good life. Hisano smiles full of affection. Seems you're able to give Hisano some support. There we go. Max rank on death. Thou art I, I am thou, thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds should show you eyes to the truth. You can make Mahakala, the ultimate form of the Death Arcana. Nice. Max level? All right. And we can now make Mahakala, the king of darkness. Do you have someone you love? Yes.
<laughs> Is that so? Yes, I love him so much. Him and his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> then remember this. Live a long and full life. That is the greatest thing you can do for your beloved. Yeah. Spent a while talking about different things with Hisano. I hope that one day we will meet again. Well. Very nice. I liked that social link quite a bit. Yeah, a lot of the social links in this game are good. Anyways, how about we go finish off the devil as well? <gasps> Okay, well, this is the less good one. <laughs> it's been so long since we've hung out with the devil, but we can finally hang out with her again. And hopefully last time? Uh, probably? Maybe? Yeah, we're getting the l last time music. Mm-hmm. Our empty hospital room. Uh, Sayoko asked you to come here. I'm sorry. You're already done with work today, aren't you? I wanted to say goodbye. Uh, Take care. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm leaving this hospital today. Sayoko looks straight into your eyes. I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death... In the end, everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Then I remembered. I remembered that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. Sayoko smiles gently. <sighs> And to think that the one who had shown me this is just some kid with a rag in his hand. <laughs> <sighs> I tend to go for older rich men, and I landed a child. Don't. <laughs> so, I'm going. I'm going to find that path I gave up on. I thought I couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm going to be my own guide. Thinking, walking, take responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say that I've truly lived. Will you take this? So you're gonna do that by quitting your job at the hospital? Yeah, I'm not really sure what she's going for. This whole social link has been written very poorly. This is a mess. This is, this is probably one of the weakest social links in the game. I give you the person I was when I was here. Okay. Sayoko looks at you gently. <laughs> well. Lady, maybe instead of quitting your job, you should just go, like, talk to someone. I have no idea what she's planning on doing now that she's quitting. Anyways, we can make Beelzebub now. Sweet. Beezlebub, Beezlebub, Beezlebub. All right. Beelzebub, the Prince of Lies. Nice. I'm going to say this. It's as much to myself as it is to you. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. So long. Bye. Sayoko left, never looking back. You decided to go home. Okay. Well, now we are truly and officially done with all nighttime social links. Wow. You overhear students talking. see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. What? If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's nothing really unusual. 
There's nothing wrong with the fog. If you tell yourself there's nothing wrong with it, then there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. So, back to the lecture. Math and civilization evolved simultaneously, which allowed us to solve problems. Although there are some math problems that have yet to be solved, they're called the Millennium Prize Problems. In the year 2000, they announced seven unsolved problems. If you solved one, you were awarded with one million dollars. Hmm, flower coon. How many Millennium Prize problems do you think remain unsolved? Uh, I'm guessing all of them. Either all of them or six. It's six. Okay. So one of them apparently was solved. Give the answer you think is correct. Oh, I'm surprised you knew. But yes, one of them has been solved. I envy whoever solved it. He walked away with the money. And so you know, he solved the point care conjecture? Sure. They even tried to award him with the Fields Medal, which is kind of like the Nobel Prize, but he declined it. I guess geniuses don't think along the same lines as us normal people. Huh. <sighs> Sorry I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Not that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Ugh, so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. I feel like I've learned absolutely nothing from this. Well, absolutely not. Of course not. This... <laughs> You're not even gonna tell me what the, like, problem was that he solved? Hey! My mother's always blah 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 Here's blah, your thing! Blah. Here's your book. Where'd you find it? Never found it. Give it. Thanks, Cupid. This Mokoi doll. Be sure to treasure it. I kept that in my room and I loved it. Now I'm giving it to you, Subomi. That's weird. Maybe he just has a crush on us. Uh, you. You wanted the radio old ore or something. Yeah. Wow, you did it. I listen, can listen to the thing. Please take. We a got ball a spirit radio. Okay. And now for the wood girl. Mm-hmm. Would you like this wood? Wow, it's almost December. Uh-huh. Here's your lumber. Wow, excellent shelf. <laughs> Dad's face, thank you. Here, much. Assault signals. I don't know what any of these items do. So how's our quest log? Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. We had another guy. We had one more. And then after that, it should just be the cat. The cat. Here you go. Looking at the Thank lamp. you. Really, thank you so much. I didn't give but it's exactly what I wanted. It isn't much. Take this. Oh, money. I'm going to give this to my wife. She passed away. So I thought she might like some light. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, sir. All right. Quests. Done, 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 done. Everything is done, except for quest number 49, Cat Needs Food Badly. I <sighs> guess we can start spending nighttime either fishing, or we can see if Tanaka is selling fish. Yeah, either or, and or both. Uh-huh. We just need more fish. Yeah, and to remember to actually come feed the cat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now what do we do? Well... I'm gonna sell all this other random crap I got in the thing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And we don't... Do we need any personas for social links? No. The ones we need, I already have. Wow. There's, like, only two social links that aren't level 9 or higher. 
And I already have the, so, the the personas for them. Do you mind if we take a look at that too after you're done selling stuff here? Sure. All right, selling stuff done. So uh -huh. let's go ahead and look at our social links. Fool is almost there. Yukiko, we still need to hang out with, but she won't hang out this week. Margaret, we're gonna wait. Uh, Naoki Konishi is only rank six. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guide is having us have him have be like the final social link. Mm. It, like he's going to be like the last person we hang out with, but mm -hmm. that might be different depending on how our extras go. Uh, Temperance, young mother, she's two away. Uh, Teddy is ranked nine as well, and Ayane. He's nine. Yeah. Right. So like we're close with a lot of them. Okay. Unfortunately, none no of those people to want to hang out, out today. <laughs> Well... Oh dear. We are going to pray. Also, need to plug the... the thing in, because it is dying. The controller, that's the name of this object. There you go. Alright, I'm actually gonna... Yeah, well, actually, no, wait, no, hold on, that's good. No, 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 it's good, it's good. <laughs> I changed my mind! Alright, there we go. Leaving all of that in is very important. <laughs> uh, we're gonna... Airy, yes. The mom. Yeah. Gotta get some extra points with her because we haven't maxed her out yet. You hear someone at the front door. Oh yeah, that skirt and the diet food. Nice. Hey Yukiko, do you want this skirt? It's better. Oh, reduces physical damage as well. Okay. Good. All right, I think I am going to go fishing. Okay. I think I'm gonna go fishing and catch some fish and we really don't need to show this. No. Well, fishing successful. I got five fish. Nice. So that's five more fish to feed the cat. Sweet. The word September actually means the seventh month. It originated on the Roman calendar, which began in March. Anyway, what's wrong with this weather? The whole town looks like a polluted factory exploded. But I don't think that call think about calling in sick or skipping your studies. I'll still be able to tell if you were really sick. And that goes double for anyone who failed the last exams. The eleventh hour is upon you people. The next test determines whether or not you can go on to the next grade. Hmm, Tsubomi-chan, I've got a question for you. Why is that? What does it mean when you're in the eleventh hour? <laughs> it's eleven o'clock. It's... Uh, the last chance. Probably, yes, that is the correct chance. Because it's, it's yeah. right before. Right before midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gave the answer you think is correct. Wow, right, right. This is your last chance. I'm going to put this question on next week's test. Wish you all luck in moving forward to the next grade. Study hard. Okay. Give the correct answer. Wow, smart boy. Wow, so smart. We're the best. Or whatever. I don't feel as much conviction saying smart boy, best boy, with Subomi. As with Hana? Yeah. Yeah, it is, I don't know. He's such a, that's because he's such a dumbass. <laughs> I know. And not always in a fun way. Mm-hmm. All right, where's the Which cat? is kind of hilarious because if you were just going off of looks, this character looks like a much more suave, intelligent, straight-laced kid mm -hmm. than Hana. Because Hana was a little, you know, edgy anime boy with bangs over his eyes. But Hana just has Subomi beat in, like, every regard. Mm-hmm. I think that was the last fish. Yep. Yeah, that's it. 
All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So join us back here next time as we continue on in the fog and we're probably gonna hit those studies. Okay. So, see you then.